Alright guys, 505 RC. I uh, got an update of the X Max. I'm gonna just do it as the stuff comes in in the mail. Uh, I still gotta order the tires for it. I took those off, so I'm forced to buy new ones because I blew out all four tires on it. Uh, due to the fact of water being in the foams, I tried to squeeze them out, but you can't get the water out. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get just new factory ones. I don't want to get the bead locks or anything because I've heard they're really heavy. And this truck is going to be like an all-around, you know, beat-up truck, what it was made for. And I don't want heavy wheels to wear breaking arms and shocks and hubs and all that good stuff, you know. But anyway, let's get to the real part of the video here that I wanted to show you guys if I don't drop this on the floor here. Let me slide out my mess here. All right, guys. I got the... Uh, what the Talon HV120 high voltage brushless speed controller with heavy duty BEC for this X Max from Castle. Okay, it is an aircraft ESC, but it's for the craziest and heaviest basically aircraft. So this should work just fine on the on the X Max here. So let me zoom in on this bad boy so you guys can see the um, the specs. So we have a minimum of 3S all the way to, yep, 12S guys. 120 amps, uh, different input, inputs or outputs actually of uh, the BEC voltage 6 to 8. And um, 20 amp peak. For the BEC so I mean this thing's pretty sweet there's the dimensions of the uh, width depth and length and weight fully programmable castle features you know USB link which I already have thankfully so that's cool so we got all kinds of good stuff oh it says tools needed okay yeah of course you got a solder not solder on your uh, connections to your battery and bullets solder to attach bullets to motors and wires battery connector right on so well let's get this thing open here I didn't know you had to solder the uh, bullet connectors oh there's a piece of tape there alright guys hang on bear with me I'm doing this deal with, with one hand here let me get my blade out and uh, see if I can't cut the tape here or cut myself. Here we go. Finally got it open. There we go. Sorry, guys, that I'm all over the place with this deal. Trying to look through the camera and at the package at the same time off the phone. But all right, here we go. We got your. <clears throat> Warning, removal, remove the BEC power wire from the radio before connecting the ESC castle link. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's cool. Got that. We got the uh, series user guide for it. Important warnings and such. Probably how to to uh, get it going, recommended use. Uh, it says general aircraft used with fixed or folding props. Now uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff on here, guys. Let's see if I can get it all on here for you. All right, figure I'd have that up there long enough to uh, do that. Sweet, I got another coupon. I'm not gonna show that so I don't give away the code and somebody gets the code again or something. I don't know if anybody did the first time on that other video. Here's 
There's a talent optional stick programming. So I guess you can do that with the uh, radio. That's cool. You could program it manually, I guess is what you would call it. But since I whoop, have the uh, castle link, I will just use that. On the lipo cutoff, that's nice that it has that brake type low voltage cutoff. That was our last one. That's awesome. All right, guys, let's get out the start of the show, if you will. Set that guy on the side here. Um, I'm not sure how this damn thing opens. If there's a piece of tape or what the heck's going on here. Oh, well, the plastic's broken. Wow. That make this a little harder to get into. Hang on, guys. I'm going to pause it. Alright, guys. Got it open. Comes with the uh, bullets that you need to solder to the wires. That's cool which works perfect that they're kind of not on there already so I can test the fit and the uh, X Max motor which they look like they will fit from here but I'm not positive maybe not but uh, if not at least they're not on there and I don't have to cut wires and all that stuff I can just go buy some and, and uh, put it on there so there's the bullets there Here's the giant ESC here. There we go. Look at that sucker. That's cool how it's flat, but it's really long. But uh, I think it'll fit where the original one went. At least I hope. And then, oh, sweet. There's the ends. Oh, okay. I get it now. They gave you the bullets. You solder them onto the motor to plug into the ESC. Oh, okay, so I may have to extend the leads off the uh, motor for this guy to work. I wonder if these will even fit in the ESC here. No, nope. those things are too big. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, they're too big. So, well, good thing I have to lengthen these anyway. So I have to cut these off and put the right ones that fit in this guy. But, uh, shoot, man, I don't know if that's going to fit, guys. Damn. Well, I may have to mount this ESC somewhere else because the receiver box is in the dang way here. I know you guys can't see it, but the receiver box is right there. See the blue antenna sticking out right there? This sucker goes right up against the motor and it's sitting right on top of that so that's not gonna work right there huh well I figure out a place for it but that is not a big concern right now because either way I have to lengthen the um, motor leads anyway so but come on foam Well, I guess it ain't going to focus any better than that, guys. Sorry. But anyway, here's the battery ends. I was going to get this other ESC, but it was $200. And it had these, but I wasn't sure where they plugged in. I think they plugged in down here. But I'd just rather have them wired in like a regular ESC. So that's why I went with this. Plus, I trust Castle a lot. I've never had a problem with Castle. Knock on wood, thankfully. And, uh, oh, well, you can strap it down even. Look at that, guys. It has holes to strap it in. That's cool. I like that. Nice. Well, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'm not much closer, guys, to getting uh, getting her running on 12S now. Got the main part that I need to run around 12S. already have the, the wire, the T, to... Uh, do my dual batteries I just gotta wait till it comes in like I said I gotta get tires and then I gotta get the batteries 
So I'm hoping probably after my after my daughter's birthday in May, or or yeah, probably the paycheck after that, I can get the uh, batteries. Might get a new body too while I'm at it, cause that body's hammered and. I don't know if I really want to get a new one yet until I run it with this. So if I tear it up, it's with the old body. But, um, yeah, there you go, guys. There's a little uh, update for you guys on the beast over here. And uh, that much closer, man. Tell me what you guys think of that ESC. If you've ran that ESC, even in a plane, please give me your feedback on it. I haven't personally seen this in action or... I doubt anybody's used this in a big vehicle. If anybody has, in a one-fifth scale, quarter scale, or this one-seventh, or whatever they call the X-Max scale, and it's worked or not, please let me know. That would be nice. All right, guys, you have a good one, and uh, hopefully I'll have an episode here real soon for you guys.